Let's talk about a Wheatstone bridge. Now we're going to make a capacitance bridge tester. Now it was first described by Samuel H. Christie in 1833 and then Sir Charles Wheatstone invented many uses for it in 1843 about 10 years later. Now basically it's two voltage dividers in parallel and if you want to find the uh, the voltage across R2 and you know the total voltage here you take the uh, total voltage times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 and you get the voltage across R2 just just a formula for a voltage divider you can do the same thing on this side to find your value of R4 and now if these are both equal the uh, you subtract the two and you should get zero voltage from A to B here now what they would do is they would take an unknown resistor and put it over here in R4 and then R2 they would ch change these resistors until the voltage dropped to zero and then you would know the value of R4 would be the same as R2 here. We're going to do the same thing but we're going to do it with a capacitor. So over here I have uh, we're going to use a 1 kilohertz AC signal into here. I have two uh, 1k resistors here. They're both 1% they could be a little bit better but this is kind of just a proof of concept here. I have a substitution box here to change up my capacitance and then I have an unknown capacitor over here. Now I happen to know what that is. It's going to be a, a 104. These numbers are in uh, picofarads. So a 104 means that you have the 10 plus 40. So you have uh, 100,000 picofarads. And if you move the decimal place six places to your left, it comes out to 0.1 microfarads. If I, I have a, this is, happens to be a uh, 102. So that means a 10 with two zeros after it. So that's 1,000 picofarads. And then if you move the decimal six places left, it comes out to 0.001. Okay. And I think this is a, a 103. Same thing. 10 with three zeros after it. 10,000. Comes out to 0 0.01 uh, microfarads. So I've got a uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitors in there. And we're going to see, uh, see if I can't match that up. So... Right now I have uh, 4 volts across there, and I'm going to turn this until, now it might not completely zero out because I have, uh, these things aren't, this you know these are like 5%, these are, might be 5% capacitors in here, but I'm going to get to the lowest voltage I can, alright, let's see, 4, so it comes out to 0.1, and that's the lowest it is. It's, it happens to be 1 volt. It's probably not a very balanced system here, but that's the lowest it is. So that's matching up with the uh, 0.1, and this is a 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitor. So uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, th these are from a different project I was doing. I just used the same perf board, so I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't waste it. But uh, I might... Uh, put this into a better system, buy better resistors for it, and uh, maybe get to 1% capacitors, and uh, it, it should work good. I want to make one with a uh, inductance. Capacitance is easy to check with a meter, but inductance is harder, and we can do the same thing with uh, with inductors. So maybe my next project I'll make one with inductors there. But anyway, that's uh, Wheatstone Bridge. Thank you.